main project learning tree, tree life cycle. And I'm at the China School Forest at our reading tree. So what a better place to read a story about trees than in this location. As I'm reading the story, I want you to think though, what do you think a life cycle is? And as I'm reading the story, I want you to think about the tree in the story and what happens to it throughout its life. How does it interact with the things in its environment? And what kind of changes happen to that tree throughout the story? So the story is called In a Nutshell, and it's written by an author named Joseph Anthony. There's the first page. High in the treetops, plump acorns were leaving their sunlit home and falling into darkness below. One little acorn wanted to stay in the light forever but it soon lost its grip and fell too. A moment later, it landed with a thump and lay still. The forest floor was very, very dark. Somewhere deep inside, the acorn knew it must get back to the sunlight. It would have to break free of its shell and become bigger than it was. So when the season was right, the acorn burst open. It pushed out roots and a stem, and it stretched itself into a tiny sapling. The sapling took food from the wet soil. It soaked up every drop of light its tiny leaves could reach, and grew a little more each day. As days passed into years, the sapling discovered that becoming an oak wasn't easy. Hungry mouths nibbled it, vines choked it. Sometimes it was icy cold. At other times, it was burning hot. Hard times helped make the sapling strong as it grew into a tree. Yet even the strongest trees weren't safe from everything. Still it kept on growing and reaching for the sun. Years passed. What was once a small acorn became the tallest tree in the forest with deep roots and sturdy branches. Countless leaves touched the sunlight. They turned the light into life that filled the tree and flowed over. It dropped acorns of its own, giving life to little oak trees and food to the forest creatures. To many, it gave a home. But when it was old and tired and its limbs and roots were rotten, the mighty tree could grow no more. Its life as an oak was almost over. The only way for it to become bigger than it was now was to die. When the tree fell, its crash shook the whole forest. Worms and bugs took the tree's life and returned it to the soil. Finally, the tree became a pile of rich, dark earth. No one remembered that it was once a living tree grown from an acorn.
It seemed that the oak was gone forever when another tree was planted there. The life of the oak passed from the soil into the new tree, a cherry tree. When the cherry tree grew up, birds ate the fruit, scattering cherry seeds and new life all throughout the forest. Until the life of the little acorn became part of everything. So that was a great story. And while you're out walking around in your neighborhood or in your yard or in the forest, see what you can find for the different stages of life cycles of trees. For example, with an oak tree, you might find these acorns. Acorns have baby trees inside of them just waiting to burst out when the conditions are right for them to grow. Then when it's time for them to sprout, we get these sprouts and you can see it growing right out of that little acorn. So there's our baby sprout tree. And if you find other seeds, like the seeds that are in a pine cone, that would grow pine trees. And if you find the helicopter trees, seeds that float down, that would be from possibly a maple tree. So each type of different seed produces its own different type of tree. After our sprout, you might end up having it grow into a young sapling. This is a tree that's only a few years old, possibly. If the tree continues to keep growing, we end up getting a young tree. This one may be 10, 15 years old. And as you can see, it's growing really well. And after the tree continues to grow for a while, it ends up becoming a mature tree or an adult tree, a grown up tree. I love these kinds of trees because I can imagine sitting underneath with my family and having a great little picnic and the shade provides um, cooler temperatures if you're sitting underneath. It also provides lots of great habitat up in that canopy for animals to live. But eventually the tree is going to reach the end of its life and we have our dead tree. And even though it may be dead, it's pretty amazing because it can still provide homes for birds or other animals. And eventually the tree will probably end up falling down. But even that's kind of a cool situation because the fallen dead tree becomes home for all kinds of decomposers worms and insects, mushrooms, moss, lichens, they all break down the tree and it creates um, a soil that a brand new tree is able to grow into. In that really good nutritious soil, new acorns can grow. So eventually, after that tree dies, and decomposes and those nutrients go back into the soil, some new acorns might be able to sprout. And there's our sprout, becomes the young sapling tree, the young tree, the adult tree, the tree dies, falls down, and the cycle continues and continues and continues. So if you're curious about trees and their life cycles, you could have an adult go out with you on a walk, look for some of these different stages of the tree, and enjoy your time in the forest. Have fun.